Hello there. I'd like to share something very important with you today. Something that has changed my life completely. It's about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the message of salvation and hope that's found in the Bible. Firstly, did you know that God loves you deeply? In the Bible, John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This verse tells us that God's love for us is immense and unconditional. However, there is a problem we all face, sin. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Sin separates us from God and hinders us from experiencing His perfect plan for our lives. But here's the good news. Jesus Christ is the solution to our sin problem. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 declares, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus came to earth, lived a perfect life, and willingly died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 say, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Salvation is a free gift offered to us by God's grace. We can't earn it through good deeds or religious efforts. It's simply received by faith in Jesus Christ. If you want to receive this gift of salvation and have your sins forgiven, you can do so right now. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You can repeat after me, Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn away from my sin now and invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me and giving me eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you sincerely prayed that prayer, the Bible assures us that you are now a child of God. Welcome to the family of believers. I encourage you to find a Bible-believing church and to continue growing in your relationship with Jesus Christ. If you have any questions or want to talk more, I'm here for you. God bless you.